Hi, my name is Frankie. I'm a Broadway performer. I was on Broadway for three years, and now I teach dance to kids. And I happen to be the brother of one of the most famous people on earth. My sister is Ariana Grande, the multi-platinum recording artist and pop star, and Frankie Grande's best friend. Five, six, seven, jump up, eight. Go left, right, left, left. I don't plan on telling anyone in the house that Ariana is my sister. I think that it would put an unnecessary target on my head. It's a groove. I'm kind of like the queen of YouTube. Anywhere I go, I'm always filming myself and then posting those videos. Justin! I have 1.2 million followers. I want to be one less lonely girl. Justin, break my heart. Work. You're leaving in an hour, so. Shut up. I'm gonna bring my rhinestone heels to teach some of these girls how to walk. It's gonna be torture not seeing my sister and torture not knowing when her album goes to number one. Your big brother's going to be on Big Brother and I'm leaving right now. Oh my God, I love you and I miss you already. I'm so excited for you, you love that show so much. To the airport. Joey, she has this crazy amazing blue hair and I was like oh my god I'm uh, the pink my little pony and you're the blue pony now all we need is a camo pony red flags she's a New York City DJ she definitely knows who Ariana Grande is we run in the same circles you know this girl could know who I am I mean she is dangerously close to home I totally have a man crush on Cody. He's really pretty. Oh, Cody, how are you doing today? It is just so nice to meet you. My name's Frankie. <laughs> You're beautiful. <laughs> we have no idea what's actually going to be happening, but there's one thing that we know for certain, and that's if we stick together, then we have much better odds going into whatever Julie's going to throw at us. The whole point of being HOH means that you've got power. Now, you're responsible for nominating people, but you're not safe? What does that even mean? There's gotta be something else. I walk out into the backyard, and there are surfboards and sand castles. So then I see this big log, and then I realize that it's not gonna be just an ordinary day at the beach. As soon as the log starts going backwards, I hear a whole new slew of people start falling. So I feel like I am proving to everyone, including myself, that I can win HOH. I am, I am in this challenge to win this challenge. I just won the first HOH of the summer! <laughs> I still don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, but all I can say is I brought it and go grande or go home. I'm probably at this moment the most nervous HOH ever in Big Brother history because I don't know what this means that the HOH is not safe. I'm freaking the Frankie out. Now I'm completely freaking out. It could be two teams of eight. It could be eight people and eight all-stars coming into the house. We have absolutely no idea what's actually gonna happen, so we're scrambling. I love me a cartoon princess, right? She's wearing pink, which we all know is my favorite color. This guy's gonna be a problem for me in this game. He's probably super conservative and he's not gonna get all of this and I'm most likely not gonna get all of that. So I'm super paranoid because I'm HOH1 and Julie just told us that there's gonna be HOH2. So I've gotta find somebody in the other side of the house that I immediately want to trust. I'm feeling pretty good about it being Victoria. So yes, maybe Pinecrest does have a reputation of being a bit of a rich kid snobby high school, but like, don't go throwing judgment in my face as soon as you meet me. I mean, you don't know me. You don't know my life. Hey Zach, here's an idea for you. Maybe you should be pissing off the new HOH in the very first conversation that you're having with him. I guess you're making my decision pretty easy this week. I'd really like to see Victoria win this HOH because I'd really like to work with her. Well, Victoria's out first, so that didn't work. And now I have to figure out who in this second HOH competition I can work with, and who do I want to win this competition. So I know I made an alliance with the first group of eight that walk into this house, but after seeing Caleb, I have to work with this guy. I mean, he's a lion, and I'm gonna be his tamer. <laughs> Walking into the HOH room, I'm super excited, and I'm trying to be really, really friendly with Caleb because uh, there's two HOHs right now, but there's only gonna be one HOH at the end of the week. I gotta make sure that Caleb is gonna be my best 
friend. We could talk about all his Rascal Flat CDs and his beef jerky, and we're gonna just bomb this week. I know it. So now that Caleb and I are working together, it's really important that we get on the same page when it comes to nominations. Our responsibility as the heads of household is to each nominate two people for eviction. So as I open the case, I see the two people that Caleb nominated, and I have to choose from the remaining keys. <sighs> my nominations are based on the fact that I don't want blood on my hands, I don't want Target on my back, and I don't want to make waves this week. Right now, I'm doing major damage control. And I'm trying to get Victoria to see that Caleb nominated first. He took the people that I wanted to nominate, so therefore, I had to put you up. I had no choice, it's really his fault. So as if I don't have enough stress, knowing that I can be dethroned, I have to worry about Devin bringing extra members into the bomb squad and telling them everything. What? So Devin, first you decide to bring in two other members to the Alliance without speaking to anyone else in the Alliance, and now you're having a meltdown over the fact that you think this bearded duck hunter is actually James Bond. I mean, why did I decide to work with you? Like, you're a mess. So we walk into the backyard and I am in a ballroom. Oh my God, there were swings, giraffes and elephants. It was very 1920 glam. I love it. Red team wins and I've been dethroned this week. Immediately I start to get a little bit nervous because even though the bomb squad says that they have me covered for the week, it's big brother. Anything can happen. Even though I think Caleb has my back, it's still nerve wracking because I have no power this week. No power means you could get backdoored. So anything can happen. Devin is unbelievable. Now he's convinced Donnie is a secret super soldier. So what's next, Devin? Is he Justin Bieber in a beard? Is it Lady Gaga's new character persona? Is he Ariana Grande's brother? Is that what you think? You couldn't find the S, so you can make it an eight-letter word? Warnings? It wasn't even plural. Here goes Devin again. Why does it have to be a unanimous vote? As long as we get out the person we want, it doesn't matter. Caleb and Amber seems kind of eighth grade. I mean, like, do you want me to pass her a note in study hall later? Like, I mean, maybe, I don't know, ask her for her pencil back? Joey, my fellow little pony, I mean, I had such an amazing connection with you when you walked into this house. I love you as a human. We are cut from the same cloth. We are the same spirit, but man, you just were not ready for this game. I'm happy that Devin won because he's a part of the bomb squad, but I feel like Devin is just gonna do crazy things like he's been doing the whole week and I don't really trust him. What? is happening now. Devin is under the assumption that if you tell the truth and you're honest in this game, everything will be fine. And I'm like, please, this is Big Brother. Stop telling the truth. Dearest Zach, I mean, he's just like a little puppy dog. He just follows me everywhere that I go. We cuddle in bed, we do meals together, we do weights together, we go in the pool together, we make up dances together. Oh my goodness. I don't know what I have in him, but it's lovely for now. I'm standing there watching this clash of the not-so-titans, and the last thing that I want to have happen is for the bomb squad to blow up in front of everyone. Oh my god. Congratulations, Frankie. You have been chosen by America to take part in this summer's interactive twist. You and two other house guests will work together to carry out secret missions all summer long. <laughs> this is the coolest thing that's ever happened. I have got your back. Go to the weight bench tonight at 9 p.m. sharp. The other members of Team America will do the same. Good luck and God bless America. We got Derek, who is playing a very smart game. Me, who's kind of got my fingers in everyone's business, but we still don't know who the third member is. We got the brains, we got the beard, and we got the beauty. I walk out to the backyard for the veto competition, and what do I see? Space! I want to do my house like that veto competition. I want the whole thing to be space, just gigantic floating balls. Zach is losing his mind right now, and I feel terrible because I like the kid, but I don't know that I can necessarily help him if he's gonna insist on blowing up his game and potentially mine in the process. I'm super pissed at Zach right now. By Zach calling me out, he's immediately pointed out to everyone that I'm untrustworthy and someone who is in the middle of everything. I really do believe that Zach knows he screwed up, but regardless of how he feels personally, he still totally ruined my game. 
and I really don't know if I can trust this kid ever again. So it looks like Zach is staying, and I want to be the one to tell Devin because I'm not sure how he's going to take it. And if I'm the one telling him, I can diffuse it so that it works to my advantage. So obviously everybody wants to talk about their family in the house, and I really want to talk about my family too because they are my entire life. But when someone asks me about my sister, immediately red flags go up and I go on high alert. Does she have blonde hair? What does she look like? Is she pretty? Is her single number one in America? I mean, <laughs> I'm trying to keep this under wraps because it could seriously change my position in this house. Team America has our first mission. I think this is gonna be super easy because I'm really good at starting rumors. I think we got this one in the bag. I'm starting to think that we're on our way towards the devilous disappearance. Swish and flick. During the operation, my main job was to just be a mole. So when Zach finally says there's a rumor circulating that he's related to Amanda, I am so overjoyed. I was like, <laughs> I made it up. Devin survives again. Literally, my stomach is in knots. I am sick. Because now, the fate of everyone in this house rests on Donnie's shoulders. Donnie wins, and it's like the home team winning the World Series. We are screaming, I'm crying. We're gonna throw up. Thank you, thank you, Devin is gone. Caleb is so blinded by Amber that he has no idea that people are making moves around him. And honestly, I think it's gonna get him voted right out of this house. And Caleb has no one to blame but himself. So the goal of this HOH is to pass your deviled eggs back and forth, up and around, and into their egg holder. The first team to get all 12 eggs in their assigned holders wins HOH for the week. Victoria was literally cracking under the pressure. Well, I'm the new HOH in town, and I think it's gonna be a hell of a good week. <laughs> I haven't told anyone in the house that my sister is Ariana Grande, so when I walk into my HOH room, I'm really happy that my family sent this tiny picture with a little baby Ariana Grande wearing skeleton makeup so that I can keep my secret safe. So, Devin is out the door, Caleb and Amber are too much drama to deal with, so what's left of the bomb squad are these five people, and these five people I really want to work with actually until the end. So, it's perfect. <laughs> Team America, it's time to go on your second mission. America wants someone who Team America believes is a physical threat to go on the block. You must inform your fellow Team America members of this mission. The rest is up to you. Good luck and God bless America. Thank you so much, America. I will not let you down. This is Frankie of Team America signing off and heading out to battle. This mission is going to be really difficult for me even though I'm HOH because I'm aligned with pretty much every physical threat in this house, or at least they think I'm aligned with them. And for me to put one of them up, it might throw a little bit of a wrench in my game plan for this week. Brittany is telling me all this information in confidence, so obviously I will keep it completely to myself because this is Big Brother, I'm just kidding. I'm gonna go tell Cody right now. <laughs> So in order for Team America to be successful this week, I need to get Amber on the block. So I'm trying to test the waters and see where Caleb really is with me potentially putting his boo up on the block. Even though Amber's definitely going on the block for Team America as the physical threat, I'm still the HOH that's nominating her. So I want to get as little blood on my hands as possible. I'm hoping that if I'm super honest with her, it'll minimize blowback if she does come off the block. Our responsibility as the heads of household is to each nominate two people for eviction. So in order for Team America to be successful this week, I need to get the physical threat on the block. But whatever I do this week is gonna potentially put a target on my back for weeks to come. So first move, everyone goes around the board and everyone does the exact same thing. Either they're all diabolical geniuses or they all just did exactly what the person before them did. I'm leaning towards the latter. I am dethroned as HOH, which kind of sucks, but I get to compete next week in HOH, and I'm pretty sure Cody's got my back as a fellow detonator. It's bittersweet not being HOH for the week. Brittany's still on the block and she's the target, so I'm cool with that. Detonators are still in control of the house. So, I'm chilling. Yes, 
it was stupid that Caleb took the $5,000. But if Caleb goes up on the block, he will go home and we will lose an ally. So stick to the plan, Rose. What? Stop. Breathe. Think. This is a terrible game move. Brittany is out to get all of us. Caleb is out to get a date with Amber. It's time for me, again, to do some damage control. I'm so happy, so pleased that Cody did not go with his ridiculous ego. Like, oh, I have to kick Caleb out because he screwed me over. Sucks that Donnie's on the block for Team America, but it'll be fine. This is a crazy game. We are being cutthroat and sometimes downright hurtful. But when something terrible happens, we have no one to go to but each other. And in this moment, I feel so supported and that is so wonderful. I ran straight to the pictures to see my grandfather's face. I mean, he is the most adorable man to ever walk the planet Earth. Oh God, I love him so much. And he will be so, so, so missed. And that really felt awesome to see his face. And as I'm looking at Zach, I'm staring at like a villain. And I'm like, what have we created? What monster is sitting in front of me? It's not good. This mission might be a little difficult this week, America, but luckily I have my Zach attack that I just need to poke a little bit with a cattle prod. I think I'll be able to do it. Nominations this week are pretty straightforward for me. I want to nominate two weak players so that they will lose the battle of the block and that I will stay the sole HOH. Because I don't know what Zach is going to do. Right now, everybody is fuming at Zach and everyone in the house is Team Christine and Nicole. So I have to appear like I am on the house's side and I will do whatever is necessary to make the house happy, even if it includes throwing Zach under the bus. Christine and Nicole need to win and dethrone Zach because as I'm watching, he starts screaming at them to try and get them to fail. This kid cannot have any more power or sugar or caffeine. Now that I am the sole HOH for the week and lunatic Zach has been dethroned, I have a lot to think about this week. Backdooring Amber is definitely mission one for the week, but if the house calls for Zach's head, I might have to give it to them. Yay! My nominees lost the battle of the block, which means I am the sole HOH for the week, which means I can get on with my plan to backdoor Amber. But two things need to happen first. The veto needs to be used, and we have to get Caleb on board. If Zach doesn't stop running around terrorizing the countryside, the villagers are gonna start to revolt. Zach and I are working together in this game, but he's kind of driving everyone absolutely insane. So I need him to calm down so that everyone doesn't start throwing his name as someone that I need to backdoor. But I have a little problem. I also have a mission to fulfill for Team America. Get two house guests in a fight, and my last chance to do it is at the veto meeting. So I need Zach to explode, but it has to be at the right time. So I need to keep Zach quiet, but I also need him to explode for America. And let's face it, America comes first. I mean, he tells me that it's straight, but actions do speak louder than words, and he is petting me to sleep every night, and I like it. Zach, are you gonna make a move? Come on. Just do it. The primary goal for this week is still to backdoor Amber, which means that I do not want Amber and I do not want Caleb to be playing in the veto competition. Oh, Amber, don't worry your pretty little head about Donnie having to go on the block. I would never put him up, cause you're going up. My plan is literally falling into my lap. I'm like, come to me, Caleb. You don't need that mean girl that doesn't appreciate you. I'll take care of you, daddy. I want to remain in control. This is Big Brother. You can't leave anything to chance. So if I hold that golden power of veto, I know everything's gonna be exactly the way I want it to be. My nether regions was on fire. It hurts. I am way ahead of everyone else and I'm thinking that I can pull this off. My structure is going up smoothly. I'm riding this horse like it is nothing. So at this point, I am stacking up these bricks. I got like 40 up there. So Hayden wins the veto and I'm like, oh shucks, but that's okay because I'm hoping he's gonna use it on somebody and I can still 
backdoor Amber this week. I actually don't know who's more clueless as to what's gonna happen this week, Caleb or Amber. I might even pull off a double blind slide. So Amber's badgering me and she wants to know what's going on, but I still need to maintain that I'm not really 100% sure what's going on, even though I'm HOH. Caleb still believes that he is responsible for putting Amber on the block, so I'm going to allow him to take all the blame for this. I haven't seen a cowboy cry this much since Brokeback Mountain, but you know, he has a special place in my heart, so I am legitimately trying to comfort him. When Christine comes and tells me that Caleb is now Amber's target, I am elated because that is the piece of information that I can use to put the nail in Amber's coffin. If Caleb hears that, he will go ballistic and come back to the fold, be one of the guys, and we can keep sending people home. This is not gonna be a tough mission to pull off. It's gonna be a tough mission to survive. This is the first time this summer that neither a bomb squad member nor a detonator is in charge, and it's really worrisome to me because I feel like one of my Alliance members might be in danger of going home this week. My plan for Donnie this week is to leave him alone. I do not want to get too much blood on my hands, so I trust that I am safe for the week. Donnie, you do your thing. So I walk into the backyard and I see my childhood fantasy. I see teddy bears and blocks and dominoes and I want to play with everything. Except I don't want to play because I don't want to be on the block. Caleb and Victoria, those two absolutely hate each other. I mean, these next 48 hours with them linked together will definitely be more like hell than Eden. <laughs> I mean, just watching a practically naked man get shaved as that vibrating clipper passes through his thick nest of manly hair. Oh, wow. And then he reveals his perfectly rounded skull. God, you're sexy. I love it. This is a really crucial week. So we need to get all of the detonators into one room and lock it down before the veto competition to make sure we're on the same page. One of the most awkward things that could possibly happen in this house is when you walk up to two people who are whispering and then they stop talking as soon as you get there. It gets me really concerned. I'm thinking about what Zach told me a long time ago about their three-person alliance. So I have to talk to Derek and figure out where he really lies. Is he this three-person alliance with Zach, Cody, and Derek? Or is he Team America like he tells me he is? You know, I'm coming to the realization that Zach has lost the trust of the Detonator Alliance. And at this point, there's nothing that I can do to save him. And it breaks my heart because I love this kid. Hayden threw me under the bus big time. Caleb has started to doubt me. Doubt in this house spreads like wildfire. And all I can think is I have to win this next HOA. I didn't even get a chance to read the first question because Zach just hit the button. I'm super nervous that if I don't get to Nicole in time and repair our relationship, she's gonna put me on the block. <laughs> so I gotta go figure this out fast. When Zach calls me and Christine out, I'm a little confused as to why I am thrown out there. I did not nominate him. She did. What the hell did I have anything to do with this? Caleb and I are extremely, extremely close. And when I looked at him in the eyes and he wouldn't meet my gaze, I knew he was gonna throw this competition. Apparently, I am public enemy number one. Everyone hates me. If I don't win this battle of the block, I'm going home. And playing this game alone is gonna be a huge problem. This game is extremely difficult to do by yourself because you only have two hands, which means you can't also be loading the balls. So when you're loading the ball, then you have to wrap the chains and you have to pull them. This is a lot to do by myself and I am nervous. My heart is racing. I'm gripping the chains with all of my might. I just need this last ball to go in so that I am safe this week. I took my fate into my own hands and won a two-person competition by myself. Yes! So I'm safe for this week, which is great, but I am definitely not safe for any weeks coming up. I need to rebuild some trust in this house, and I think the only way to do it is to make a big move and to tell this entire house my big secret, who I'm related to, the one and only Ariana Grande.
So I won the Battle of the Block by myself, but clearly everybody in this house hates me enough to get somebody to throw a competition to get me out. I really don't have much choice. I kind of have to play my ace card, which is the truth, to get everybody back on Team Frankie. You know, clearly this isn't going well. It's not how I imagined my big coming out moment to be on this show. So I need to try and calm everyone down, get centered so that they will hear and listen to me and understand why I did what I did and hopefully forgive me. I'm hoping that if I tell them the 100% honest truth, it will distract them and will buy me enough time to reform some relationships and figure out how I'm gonna get to the end of this game. Now that I told the guys the hard part is over, I really just want to go and have a good fun time telling the girls because I think they're gonna think this is super exciting. And also, I haven't done anything wrong to any of them, so I'm not really apologizing. I'm so grateful for the opportunity to be here and just escape all of the madness that is the house. It's reinvigorated me so I can keep going in this game. Thank you so much, Jerry Jones! Woo! Touchdown! Nicole, I admire your passion and knowledge for this game so much. Having to go against you has been definitely the most difficult part about being in this house. I really do think you are a remarkable, beautiful human being. I am so excited that I won HOH this week. I can't even express it. But at the same time, there are only eight people left in the house six people in my alliance, which means alliance members will go up and some feathers will definitely be ruffled. Victoria has been on the block a million times. It's very stressful to be on the block. I now know that. So I'm really happy that she's safe for the week. Or for now. The only person that I can say I trust 100% is Derek. So I'm okay with being taken down this week and then being allowed to play in HOH again next week. This is the first time in my four HOH wins where I can actually not be nervous that my sister is Ariana Grande, that I am who I am, that I have the most incredible family on the planet. Oh, it's awesome. When Caleb calls my sister beautiful, I'm like, oh god, no, no, please. And he's gonna be obsessed with her. I'm really excited about this mission. I mean, it's definitely gonna to be tough, but it will also be very fun to get the house a little stirred up. I'm gonna be a little bit of a saboteur this week. <laughs> so this strategy meeting feels like an exercise in silence. No one is speaking. Of course, I will do all the talking if I need to, but that's not the point. I'm looking for people to step up to the plate. Come on, people. I mean, Zach, if you want it, just come and get it. I mean, just come out, come out. Wherever you are, I'm waiting. Cody and Christine's relationship is very interesting. We all know Christine is married and Cody will flirt with anything that has a pulse. So it is a little strange that they are constantly flirting with each other. It is slightly bizarre, though, not gonna lie. My two nominees this week were chosen by Candy in a hat. Literally, it was drawn and that is the strategy behind my nominations this week. So this battle of the block is extremely important to my alliance. We do not want two alliance members sitting on the block this week together at all. I am so happy that I'm safe for the week. Amazing, Donnie, congratulations. But at the same time, that means that my alliance's target is also safe for the week, which makes things a little complicated going into this veto. One of my alliance members has got to win this then. This week could have been so simple. And now two of my best Alliance members are up on the block and could be going home this week. I can't let that happen. My only hope is to win that veto myself, pull one of them off and put up a new target. But my replacement options are limited. I'm nervous I'm gonna have to do something that I don't want to do. I'm terrified right now that someone like Donnie or Victoria will win the veto and not use it, leaving my fellow detonator slash bomb squatter, Cody or Caleb, up on the block. This is the most critical POV of the year and I need to win it. Hiding these personal items from people, you have to be stealth, ninja, hunt. So I stole Caleb's cowboy boots and put that into the recycling bin. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Kathy Griffin! Oh my god! <laughs> I love her so much! The stakes this week for me are huge. I want to retain all the power so I can take down one of my alliance members and put somebody else up. The goal of this game is to correctly connect your wires in each circuit box and illuminate all of your lights in your lane. 
The graphics on top of the circuit board are like a maze and they show which lights are connected to which ports. Once you think you have all your wires connected correctly, you press your button and if everything lights up, you move on to your next circuit board. The first person to light up all four circuit boards wins the golden power of veto. When I was a kid, I was obsessed with building robots. I was soldering. This actually might be in my wheelhouse. The last person that I want to win this veto is Donnie. I don't think he would change the nominations and I don't want to lose one of my boys. So out of the corner of my eye, I see him getting ahead of me and I'm thinking, pick it up, Frankie. Good job, Caleb. This is pretty hard. Beast mode electrician. I can't even really think about that though because it's my HOH, I want the power, I want to win. I push the button, everything lights up and then goes dark. And I'm like, what happened? One of my connectors fell out at the last minute. It's my first veto, I'm so happy. Now I have all the power this week. So we'll see who I end up using this on. Hmm. I have been thinking about what to do this week constantly. Do I really want to send home Victoria this week? Is she really a threat to me getting to that $500,000? Or do I want to make a big move and turn on the detonators and get somebody out of this house who's been bad for my game since the very beginning? So our task this week was to steal and hide a personal item from each house guest. And then when they notice something is missing, start a neighborhood watch and keep that going for 24 hours. Everyone was consumed with rage, paranoia, fear. I mean, this is so easy. We barely had to even suggest a neighborhood watch before Caleb and Zach were completely gung-ho about being on patrol. We're going to find this saboteur and we're going to take him down. And I was like, yay! 5K! Now that everyone thinks that Zach is the saboteur, I think this is too big of an opportunity to pass up. I have to get Zach out of the game this week. Zach is my best friend and I really do love this kid, but he has caused so much trouble in this house. I mean, he put up an Alliance member. He tried to get me evicted. I mean, he's really been terrible for my game. I mean, sure, it would be easy to put up Victoria. It would be harmless. I would get no blood on my hands, but I don't know that I can trust Zach anymore in this game. This is one of the hardest decisions that I've had to make and I'm completely torn up about it. You know, now that Zach is the replacement now, I'm fully expecting another Zach attack and most likely he's gonna try and throw every single one of us under the bus to each other. And I know there's gonna be some fireworks coming from Zach. Making Zach the replacement nominee was difficult, but at the same time, this is a game and he has proven time and time again that he is not to be trusted. My biggest concern is that he's gonna try and pit us all against each other even harder than he was before. Zach's antics since the beginning of the summer have caused not only all of us to distrust him, but have caused everyone in the Alliance to start distrusting each other. And that's bad for everyone. This is so much fun, watching the entire house band together to do this neighborhood watch. <laughs> It's getting pretty late in this game, so I think at this stage what I have to do is what's right 100% for Frankie and only Frankie. Zach, I love you so much. We are Team Zanky forever, inside and outside of this house. Unfortunately, I had to kind of honor what the group was asking me to do. Go give them hell in the jury house, and I cannot wait to see you again. I miss you already. Nicole's back and we're all like, oh my goodness, we've missed you so much. But we're all actually just thinking the same thing. Can't wait to get her and Donnie out. Caleb literally is having flashbacks to when he was like a ninja assassin. He is going through this house being like, Gah! and it's absolutely terrifying. Poor Victoria, she looks like a chipmunk. And it's kind of concerning to me because I want her to stay in this game and continue to vote our way, do nothing, and not be a threat to me. America would never come up with that mission. It would never be like, save Donnie. So it would be like, get a physical threat removed from the block and replace it with a non-physical threat, you know, something like that. So that's a no. The entire house wants Donnie gone. In order for Derek and I to flip the house, honestly, it would put up huge red flags and it would be very, very bad for our game as a whole. You see smaller amounts of items with larger amounts of items. This is the counting veto. We already have a stay and fold strategy as a team so that we can get Donnie out. This is perfect. I am amazing at numbers, okay? This challenge was made for me, so I just multiply my little pinwheels, and I put my number down, and it's done. See you later, Donnie. Peace. 
perhaps I should just stick to the entertainment field and leave the counting and mathematics to anyone else. Cody only needs one more security clearance to win the veto, so I know that Donnie and Nicole are gonna stay this round. I mean, they'd be idiots not to. Our mission this week for Team America is to make up our own mission this week to impress America. So I came up with this brilliant idea to put on a play called House Swap. What would happen if the eight current house guests were actually the eight evicted house guests and each of them would be playing a character? So there you have it, America. BB Broadway presents House Swap. As of a couple days ago, everyone in the house wanted Donnie gone and I was 100% on board with them. But now I'm watching Nicole cozy up to Christine and her social game is pretty on point. I mean, if Nicole's not targeting Christine, then I'm pretty sure she's targeting me. Maybe I have to rethink this. I'm pretty sure Nicole's coming after me and I'm not ready to break up Team America. So I want to keep Donnie in this house, but in order to do that, I need to make sure that my entire alliance is on board. It makes sense to keep Donnie in this house because I have to trust that America put him with us for a reason and Donnie's number one target most likely is not me and is not Derek <sighs> team America you were asked to create and attempt your own mission and it's time to find out if America was impressed during the live show Julie will ask a member of team America if you become a have-not, what special food would you like to request from America? You must answer apple pie. If Julie says yes, you have impressed America and will each receive $5,000. If she says no, America was not impressed and you get no money for the mission. We decided to do something extremely entertaining and put on a show for America. I hope we did impress you. This is Frankie signing out. God bless America. I went along with my alliance this week and got rid of Donnie, even though for me personally, it would have been a better move to get rid of Nicole. Oh my God. I mean, even hours before the live show, I was begging people to turn and get rid of Nicole. So Nicole is obviously still in the house and she is right next to me. And this is the kind of competition that is frankly built for someone like her. You know, it's probably a good thing that Derek's going for the 5K because he is falling left and right and really, really hurting himself. <sighs> He's gonna need all of that money to buy himself a new hip. I wanna win this HOH because the only people that I'm guaranteed safety with are Caleb and Derek. Anyone else wins, I could be going up on the block this week and I don't want that to happen. Wow, it looks like Nicole's helping Christine with the competition. That's interesting. Via secret message, we found out from Julie that we have failed our Team America mission for the week. We are down a member for Team America, but I honestly don't feel like we actually are. To be honest with you, I think we might be better off without him. I cannot be toting around someone's dead weight. I'm sorry. I think the mission, missions are going to be much easier without him. There's only one person that cannot play to guarantee their safety this week and let me just say that it better not be me. I want to guarantee my own safety in this game. Pick me. What a surprise. I didn't get picked for the veto. This is unbelievable. My chip has only been drawn once. I was ready for another Donnie chip to get pulled. So I walk into the backyard and I see dynamite and anvils and explosives and I'm like, whoa, this is like a cartoon world. This is a bomb squad's dream. We are totally gonna blow Nicole right out of this house. I'm just hoping someone drops an anvil on her head in the middle of the comp. <laughs> you know, we're at the point in the game where I would actually be surprised if they did not think about backdooring me. I think it's definitely more Cody than Derek. Now, do I want them to do this? Absolutely not. Derek and I are Team America and we have sworn to always have each other's back in this house. So when he's trying to play stupid with me about potentially backdooring me, it kind of infuriates me. Like, fess up. Are you serious? I am a huge fan of the show. I know what the button means. The button means you push the button. I'm terrified of what's gonna happen when I push the button, but if I had the chance, of course I'd push the button. I love these boys, however, if they don't think they can beat me in the end, they will take a shot at me. So I know that I need to win HOH, otherwise I definitely could be gone. And last week was a little scary. I found out that my own alliance was debating about backdooring me. So I'm feeling pretty alone in this game and I want to win 
every competition for the rest of the season, starting with this HOH. The way this head of household competition works is you have to carry your seeds from one end of this gigantic seesaw shovel to the other end, place your seed, and then walk back. If your seeds fall out or if you fall off your balance beam, you have to start all over again. First person to get all their seeds onto their shovel head will be the new head of household. I feel like I've got a really good handle on this shovel. I'm putting one foot in front of the other and using my weight to distribute back and forth. I keep hearing an eye and on from my left. The poor, poor thing who made it to the final five. Never mind, I don't feel bad for her at all. The placement of the seeds in this competition is everything. Each of the seeds is a different bounciness, density, weight. So as soon as it even touches the ground, the balls are like boom, boom, and I'm like, no, 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 please, no. I know I should feel 100% safe if Caleb wins, but there's a little voice in the back of my head saying, they tried to backdoor you last week. And I can't ignore that. I mean, I know the only way that I'm guaranteed safety this week is if I win. As I'm neck and neck with Caleb, I know there are two options. Either I pick up the speed and risk flinging one of my seeds out, or I pray that Caleb knocks one of his seeds out because he's getting nervous. So as soon as I see Caleb's seeds go flying, I decide that I have to make sure that my seeds are all balanced and secure because I am so close to winning this. It is my competition to lose. So I have all my seeds in my shovel and I just have to be extremely slow and careful lowering the seeds back down to the ground so that I can run and push that button. Now that I have the power and I'm HOH and I did hear of a plan to backdoor me last week, it might be time for me to take a shot at them. If we make the choice to push the button, we must be prepared for Hell's Fury. I think everyone at this point is terrified of that button, but we got this, let's push the button. One of my duties as head of household is to nominate two people for eviction. We're approaching the end of this game. If I make the wrong move, it could cost me my chance at $500,000. Victoria is the target. I wanna take my boys to the final four. We're gonna to go to the end. Victoria has served her purpose of doing absolutely nothing all summer very, very well, but it is time for us to say adieu. Goodbye, Victoria. I have to reassure Cody that we are all final four to the end and we are strong because I don't want him mad at me. But if something crazy happens and Victoria wins the veto, I would be okay sending Cody home this week. Miss Twist is one twisted bitch. I know I'm safe for the week, but I'm still playing in this POV to win because I want all the power. I cannot figure out whose eyes those are. I thought I was gonna be so good at this game and this first face is crushing me. It's Zach's eyes? Are you serious? I've been staring into those eyes for many, many days. I love Zach. I should have known that immediately. Oops. Brown eyes. Who has brown eyes in this house? I see Jocasta's gigantic mouth. I recognize Hayden's mouth. I mean, it was kind of a good representation of what Hayden would look like in drag. He doesn't even need a wig. Just throw some lipstick on him and you're good. Thank you so much, boys, for not backdooring me last week and giving me another week in this house but I think you should've got me out when you had the chance, cause I'm certainly not gonna make it easy for you from here on out. <laughs> I'm so excited that I won the veto and the plan right now is to keep the nominations the same and send Victoria home. But there's a lot of temptation to just take a big ax at my alliance and just take out another big threat. I mean, I got a lot of power and there's a lot I could do with it. Yes, I'm a little nervous that we might fail this one because it is difficult to keep certain people in this house motivated. However, already this house has been plagued by pests. We've had ants, flies, rats is not a stretch. Our mission for Team America this week is to create a fictitious rodent in the house and we have to keep the entire house awake hunting for it all night long. Dear, sweet, beautiful Cody, he turned into a little, little, little girl. Wow, I'm so much more manly than he is in certain ways. I know in my soul that by winning this competition, I have put a gigantic target on my back and that those three boys are definitely gonna be coming to get me. I'm not sure if they can actually beat me. So do I just say, bring it on? Do I throw a huge monkey wrench into everyone's plans, pull down Victoria, and throw up Derek or Caleb as a replacement nominee, guaranteeing 
one of those boys goes home. My mind is racing right now. There's a huge opportunity here to make a really big power move, but will that take me to the end of this game? I'm not sure. I know there's a lot of eyes looking at this big old target on my back. Victoria remains my target because everyone's trying to think, who can I beat in the finals? She's too tempting to want to take because everyone knows they can beat her. It's extremely dangerous for my game because if I find myself sitting next to her next week, I know I'm going home. Derek is making me feel like me, Cody, and Caleb all have an equal shot of winning this game. I understand that this is strategy to get him to the end of the game, but I'm not counting Derek out of winning the $500,000 at all. He hasn't convinced me. The Big Brother fan inside of me is losing my mind, okay? The fact that the live eviction is now coming a day early, I think is just accelerating my game. Hopefully, this doesn't mean anything terrible for me. With the rewind now in play, I'm trying to reassure everyone that if I do win HOH again, like I did last week, everything will stay the same. But also, if something happens and I don't win, I wanna make sure that they're thinking the exact same thing. This changes nothing, Victoria's going home, no big moves. So when I won this competition and the veto last week, it pretty much solidified my status in this house as competition beast. Now we're replaying a week in which I may not be safe and someone could look at me and say, you are a competition beast, you've gotta go home. Last week when we were playing this game, there was a gentle little fall of rain, slightly wetting our clothing. This week, it's like a hurricane. Slow, steady, careful. That's what won me the HOH last week, so if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I'm gonna do the same thing. I don't know if it's this freezing ice cold water, which is the new twist, but I'm falling behind all of a sudden. Honestly, I do trust Caleb. He had an opportunity to backdoor me last week and he didn't take it, but we are getting too close to that $500,000 for me to put my game in anyone else's hands. If I wanna be safe this week, I have to win this competition. There's a clear Final Four deal in this house. Nothing happened last week during my reign as HOH to jeopardize that Final Four, and nothing should happen this week. Yikes. Nobody picks Christine. If she wins, then none of us will win any money. This house is a total disaster. We just cleaned the house last week because Jeff and Jordan came in and told us it stinks. I'm like, I can't believe that after all the hard work that we have put to cleaning up this house, and now, here we go again. Mess everywhere, no. I'm not sure why Caleb thinks her dat is his popular catchphrase. His popular catchphrase would probably be, you think Amber's gonna want me at the finale? All due respect to beast mode, but I am actually the biggest beast in this house. And if I'm sitting up on the block on an eviction night, people are gonna take a shot at me. And I don't wanna be sitting there. If Caleb decides to put me on the block after the amount of loyalty that I just showed him during my reign as HOH, then he better watch his back because Frankie is gonna go beast mode on beast mode. You know, when Caleb announces my name as a nominee, I am shocked. There is just no way that I'm trusting anyone with my game at this point. I have to win this veto. If I am sitting up on that block, I am sure those boys will take the shot. I am completely shocked by nominations. I feel totally blindsided. I know that I'm a huge glittery target, so being put up raises every red flag possible. You're telling me you didn't put Derek up because he didn't get a chance to play in the past two HOHs? That doesn't make any sense. I won the last HOH and kept you safe for an entire week. Everything has become crystal clear to me. I am a huge threat to everyone in this house. I can see it written all over your face, Derek, Cody. You all just scared me. Even though Caleb didn't actually say the words, he basically just revealed to me that I'm the target for this week. Right now, my entire game comes down to this veto competition. I blew them away in this competition last week, and I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> Team America is over, and you are now playing for yourself and yourself alone. But as an individual, you have one more chance to earn a prize. Would love to win Big Brother and get this extra $50,000 cash. That is huge. This is unbelievable. Wow. 
I'm a huge target. I have to win this veto, and two minutes and 21 seconds is what I have to do it in. Yikes. I completely am panicking. Of course, the clock is counting down, but I have to move faster. I went from HOH winning both competitions to being on the block and potentially going home. And of course, I'm wrecked. Losing this veto is absolutely the worst case scenario. All I can hope for is that Cody and Derek will stick to their word and actually keep me in this house. Still on the block, not a surprise. I'm not 100% confident that I'm staying this week. All I can do is preach loyalty to these guys all week. Are you gonna choose greed or are you gonna choose honor? Choice is yours, you'll be judged. I'm definitely in trouble this week, no doubt about it, but there are two people voting and I'm gonna try and work them over so they understand that we've been working together this whole game and now moving forward, I have a clear target. Caleb has wronged me and if you keep me in this house, I'm not coming for you, I'm coming for him. I sadly vote to evict Izzy. The most fatal error I made in the house was putting my faith in beast mode coward. Go Bronde or go home.